Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Aquarius, for June 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It's the perfect way to support me for free. And if you're not subscribed already, well, darling, what you do, and darling, why aren't you part of the family? It's completely free. As well as Aquarius, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. That's how you can make these general tarot readings really uh, resonate with you and make it personal to you is by uh, getting a read for your full entire chart because that's how you truly understand what's going on in your personal life all right and so other than that here Aquarius let's just see what's going down for you guys at this current point in time here okay Ooh, Aquarius what are y'all dealing with here currently four cups in the back of the deck here <sighs> <laughs> So Aquarius, y'all have the Five of Wands, Three of Cups coming in here with the Nine of Swords. Y'all are really in your head here at this time, Aquarius. I feel like you're seeing through, straight through somebody. All right. I, I think you even got like a similar message last week, Aquarius, where it's just like you were seeing like the true intentions, the true colors of an individual. But I feel as if you guys are just, you know, even in this Nine of Swords, this kind of reflects it where it's just like you see someone's true intent. But then you start gaslighting yourself or maybe like, I don't know, like it's like you start convincing yourself that you're overreading the situation, Aquarius, or like, I don't know what the case is here. All right. So what I want to be suggesting to you when I see this three of cups here, Aquarius, all right, I want you, I want to suggest to you to just, you know, uh, make sure that you have like some black tourmaline on you, an evil eye on you, darling. All right. Because I really do see like this sense for you, Aquarius, where it's just like people in your life or just people in general, relationships in general for you are going to try to like throw a wrench in your plans or going to try to complicate things in your life. And that's the last thing that you need to be doing here. All right, Aquarius. I feel like this is just going to be like it was last week for you Aquarius where it's like outside affirmation and letting you know that you're not over analyzing the situation you see it's like you see someone's true colors you see someone's true intense intent and for whatever the reason is it's like you're waiting for more physical um physical uh what's the word for it evidence before you do anything here and you know that's very like rational minded of you darling all right but I just get like the sense here is just like not making, not being so open with your energies here. All right. Very much so like a situation where it's like a snake in the grass and you don't want to, it's very much so it's like you're keeping your friends close, but your enemies closer. But I don't know if you want to keep your enemies closer personally here. All right. So let's just delve deeper into this per girl. <laughs> I don't know if y'all even saw it. Um, but, um, I just had a card fall out, but luckily I knew it was the Ace of Pentacles and I do not feel like getting, picking it up right now, darling. All right. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, as well as the Ten of Wands coming in here for you. <sighs> so what I see happening here, Aquarius, it's like someone wants something from you. Someone wants something from you here. All right. There is a sense of where it's like they see you, Aquarius, in your in in your space here. I feel like you guys have been really putting a lot of energy into because when I was doing your pre-shuffle, you had a lot of pentacle energies because I like to get a general vibe of what's been going on before I do y'all's recordings. And y'all have been really like been about your business, been about action, bringing things into the physical realms here. And so it's like you end up having people from your past projecting issues onto you here. It's like you start your own personal business, Aquarius, and then people from out of nowhere who are just jealous of you start trying to complicate things. Again, it's like the sense of like someone's like trying to throw a wrench into your plans, Aquarius, and trying to distract you here. This gives me very much so it's like with that ace of pentacles that fell on the ground, darling, like um maybe you can make it more symbolic if you want to, darling, where it's just like you try to like do something with this person tried to co-create with them to have a business with them or you know just like have them be part of your creation process have them be part of your success and what it is that you're growing all right and it failed all right i feel like this is someone that you gave numerous chances to and you're like you know what like you saw it's like you saw this person you saw their potential and you're just like you know what this person just needs some guidance right this person just needs some like a rock to be able to lean on 
and they will really uh do the mile here and i feel like the reality is like it failed and so now that you are back you now that you are doing your own thing now and bring it really because again i get like this sense of like paid off investments and stuff like that for you aquarius it's like now that you are reaping the benefits um from your own personal hard work the people that you try to have bring along with you in part of your life part of your story coming in from the past like looking at you from the past and you're just like oh aquarius is doing all this now like let me see if i can just like sneak in while the getting is good here all right this is very much so reminiscent aquarius of your last week's reading so again i know i keep referencing it but i really feel like this is like ending up being like a extended reading from last week so be sure to check it out on my channel here but it's like i feel like this person just has like a lot of personal issues I don't know, like, what caused y'all to be, like, have that misunderstanding here? Knight of Cups coming in here. It's like someone got a little bit too greedy or someone got insecure here. That's what I feel like the root of the problem is. It's like you doing your thing, you just creating your blessings in your life here, Aquarius. Like, it's like insecure, more insecure people don't like seeing what it is that you're doing. And then they're trying to come after you for that. They're trying to come after you. They're trying to take what's yours and claim it as their own because they are the ones that deserve it. Very much so entitled energy here. They come with a lot of baggage though. Come with so much baggage here. And then you even have the three of swords here. All right, Aquarius, all right? I don't want to be delving into this energy too much longer because I feel like we already gave him this too much time of day for you here. But just like watch your back here because this is just like the epitome of just somebody from your past here that you try to have w win with you, trying to like, now that you b went to doing your own thing here, they're going to be trying to just make their reappearance here. Protect yourself magically, protect yourself physically here. Disengage with people. If you're noticing people trying to come in from the past, all right, you're not crazy for over, like you're not over analyzing the situation you see the you see the snake in the grass all right it's not you it's not you being paranoid or anything like that don't even entertain like to keep your friends close but your enemies closer aquarius all right because i feel like it does nothing for your energy it, it, it brings no value to you and so it's just like i just don't want you to get caught up in that like in the game that they're trying to get you in here aquarius all right so let's just move on from that all right let's see what it is that y'all are creating at this time but it's just really insane like how triggered everyone around you ends up becoming Aquarius because um, the same people that you try to have win with you, like when you finally gave up on trying to have them be part of your story and you're just doing what you always knew that you were going to accomplish Aquarius, now they want to come in and be like, oh, Aquarius, like da 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 Like very just ridiculously immature and just like, darling, go to therapy. <laughs> so let's get in here we have the moon card four of wands as well as the knight of discs coming in here for you the knight of pentacles <sighs> your path is going to be revealing something here really soon all right this has been a b slow buildup of a process for you here all right it's like you started out it's like you started creating something here aquarius <laughs> and you it's like you you trusted the process here you knew that the you aren't going to get an immediate payout from this you knew that it was going to take some time all right you it's like you were trying to manifest something in very specific right so let's just say that you were trying to manifest um creating like your own business and being able to financially support yourself fully through that business all right i feel like for you there's going to be an event that pops up for you that not only confirms what it is that you have been doing all right that you are on the right path that you are answering your soul's calling here that you're going to receive such a beautiful affirmation um, and reward for what it is that you're doing to really give you the sense of security and be like, all right, I am doing what I'm called to be doing here, what have you. But I also feel like for you guys here, Aquarius, with that moon card that was in the reverse, girl, I, I just pulled the Ace of Pentacles here. Girl. Aquarius, I thought I pulled the Ace of Pentacles for you prior, but now I'm going to have to take a look here and what I, what I dropped here for you. And I guess we're going to be taking the all of these, actually. All right. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Star Energy, Three of Pentacles, as well as the Hanged Man coming in here for you. And as well as that Ace of Pentacles. That's kind of crazy now. I thought I saw it, but <laughs> I guess not. Um, so Aquarius, taking this in here for a moment... 
you know, it makes sense to see the Seven of Pentacles because that's talking about reaping the benefits. Hanged man coming in here. Uh, that's like the change that you have been anticipating here. Now, this Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups coming in here for you. I get like, again, this sense of like receiving some type of offer of business, this offer of collaboration that's separate. It's kind of interesting to me, Aquarius, where it's like... It's so interesting to me, like how it's just like you have just been to yourself, not really having any uh, any outside assistance or really getting any type of recognition. You kind of just been working in the dark here. And I know from previous readings that I've done for you in the past, Aquarius, like you guys have just been constantly building on some type of private project. So that's might be what it is. It's like y'all have been really putting in a lot of work with some personal project that you had yet to release. And I'm getting like, once you release some type of project, once you release this thing that you have been nurturing for a long time now, right? Because that seven of pentacles is that nurturing energy. Ace of pentacles coming in here. It's just like, it's like an insane success for you guys. All right. And so that's what re is really affirming to you. All right. That's what it is. It's like, you know, for example, it's like an artist that has been working really hard on their album. All right. You, you've been creating this album. You've been creating this EP, this art piece. Right. And it's been like taking you for months because I feel like it's been like a long journey for you. Right. Because with all that pentacle energy, especially the Knight of pentacles, that's not quick forward momentum. That's just like it's the slowest moving energy but it's like once it gets to once it gets to its destination darling i mean it's nothing but greatness in that way and so what i see for you guys is like y'all have been just sitting like really putting a lot of time and energy into this project here and it's like once you put out this project while like the night beforehand the day beforehand the weeks beforehand you had no one interested in your projects no type of support system no one trying to understand and get a piece of what it is that you're doing but once you put out that project it's like everyone wakes up to realize being like oh wait a minute aquarius just posted this aquarius just did this and like it's like everyone is now finally seeing what you always saw in yourself is that is what i get here aquarius it's like they wake up and realize like holy crap aquarius just did this they want it like again it's like this sense of like getting a piece of the action here so well yes we acknowledge that energy from the past from those people that you try to have win with you all right you know it's very much so that cliche storyline where it's just like when people uh you know celebrities always talk about it where it's just like you you don't understand who your friends are until you start creating a business and start doing your own thing because then you realize like how many people are not actually your ride or die all right people don't have faith in you until you're already people don't believe in you until you've already made it all right and so well i don't feel like you should be engaging with any of those past energies because i really don't get there's this there's no second chance energy when it comes to this energy to hear aquarius this is like more so of a focus on being like you put out your project you put out this thing that really is really successful and then you pay attention to those that uh that are new to you and see who you want to recruit and be part of your team for the coming journey here all right i don't feel like you've worked with them before you may already know them all right but um i don't feel like you try to do any like i feel like if anything they're like an acquaintance or something like that here aquarius but like yeah it's like y'all get scouted is what i feel y'all get scouted y'all receive a numerous amount of offers after you post put out some type of project a personal project that you've been working on for a long time you have the new moon your new moon darling all right new moon in aquarius bring love into the situation here um new moons representing new beginnings here aquarius some of you guys need to be kinder to yourself about these projects all right, some of you guys need to go at like, uh, I'm going to call some of you guys Aquarius's out. You might be a little bit too cynical at this point in time due to those past energies. All right, that's where that's where I'm going to be saying it to your Aquarius. It's like you're stressed and worried about being like, oh, am I just being too cynical when it comes to these past relationships here? You know, should I take them back? Should I work on them or what have you? You're not being cynical enough when it comes to them, but then you end up being too cynical with these new energies because of like that past energy that screwed you over, right? And that's just a natural response, right? You're just protecting what's yours, but you need to reverse it, all right? Reverse that energy, right? Trust in these new, tr not trust in all the new energies that come towards you, but only focus in on collaborating and corroborating with new energies. Don't be entertaining anything from the past, all right? 
animal card coming in here. You have the walrus card coming in. Remain vigilant about your current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Because that's it. Like, again, you're constantly being shown signs, right? You are a very spiritual Aquarius. I feel like all the Aquariuses that watch me are very spiritually practicing here all right or just very strong intuition darling all right it's like nothing can get by you all right aquarius so it's just like continue following those signs you're not crazy those are very legitimate signs you know we're analyzing the situation and I feel like we said what we needed to say here aquarius so yeah darling that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you aquarius darling it's kind of crazy how it's without fail aquarius y'all are always still my qu most quirky energy to be connecting to but i always enjoy it darling <laughs> i swear if you go to any of my other tr readings aquarius you'll see how calm and just like you know very straightforward the readings are but it's always with y'all that i always have like cards flying everywhere or i hit my mic honey it's like y'all's unhinged energy affects mine and i love it but um i love you so much aquarius if you want to book a private reading with me remember my website's linked down below simplyvalka.com as well as my social medias tiktok and instagram connected here as well simply valka same as here if you want to follow me on them and yeah aquarius hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future darling all right hopefully this gave you some guidance and yeah i love you so much aquarius bye darling <laughs>